Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Chemistry and of course today we are going to be looking at a subtopic called flames, a continuation of our discussion on hair as a mixture. Alright, so I'm sure you'll be enjoying yourself. Please do not forget to like this video. Liking this video will make other students to want to pass to also what easily see these videos and assess them and to pass. Alright, so please do not forget to just like as you are watching and don't click on that like button. Likewise, do not forget to subscribe to this channel. As you see, this is a new channel different from the one we are posting on. Please subscribe so that we can what build this channel together. Then likewise, do not forget to share this video to other students. Alright, so let us see a question on flame on the O3D school jump app. This is a 2022 question, number 20. All right, they said a luminous flame, a, lumi a luminous flame, A, sometimes produces smoke, B, is very hot, C, is short and cone-shaped, uh, D, makes a noise. All right, so please, we are going to come back to this question. I have to show it to, to you so that you know that what you are doing here is not a waste, all right? We are doing what, what you are supposed to what to do in your exam. So do not joke with our videos. Do not joke with our tutorials. All right? And of course, most ultimate, ultimately, don't joke with this application. All right? So please jump on this application, download it from Play Store immediately, and start practicing. That's all the past questions. So you don't need to bother about going to buy past questions at all. It has a classroom feature that has all the lecture notes for your study. So you don't need to go and work, go and buy textbooks. Then it has a what a question side feature you can search for question, all right, according to what topic and all the questions that Jamba set under those that topic will come out for you to answer. Is that not amazing? Then likewise, we also have what the UTME mock challenge that will conduct for students every Saturday that are writing jam. Okay, you compete with your mates, you win prizes, you get used to jam past questions and likely questions. Of course, you see your result released every Saturday. So you are used to you are used to your, your result, seeing your result. So you don't need to when they say jam, don't release the results, so you will not be scared. All right, so please get the app immediately. I don't want to work, uh, uh, talk too much about the app any longer. All right, so activation is just for a little fee. Pay the sacrifice. Activate your app. All right, so let's see flames, okay? And we say that word flame is a what? It's a region where gases combine, okay? It's a region, a region, region, R-E-G-I-O-N, where gases combine to produce heat and light. Okay, we say flames or a flame is what's a region where gases, where gases combine, gases combine to produce what heat and what and light. All right, I'm sure definitely you have seen a flame before. Okay, most of you that are cook, you're cooking, you're cook with gas in your house. Okay, some of you that have lit a candle before, but some of you that have set a bush on fire. All right, so you see what flames everywhere. You have seen flame before. It's not a new thing to you. All right, so we say what a flame is always a region where gases combine to produce what heat and light. That's what you usually see. The end product is what is heat. If I close to you, you say, ah, my, this fire, the auto, you run away. Okay, you see light. Okay, ah, oh, mama, see, man, you just light, stay see, and so on and so forth. So it's a term that is very, very, very common to us flames. So it's a region where gases combine to produce heat and light sometimes we say what uh flames okay we say what is a region of what of burning gases okay or it refers to what masses of what of burning gases okay a mass of burning gas is also referred to as a flame there are two type of flames we are going to what look at all right we are going to look at two type of flame one call them the luminous flame and then two we say the non-luminous flame So we have two types of flames we are going to look at, the luminous flame and the non-luminous flame. All right, so for a simple way of differentiating this, okay, a luminous flame, an example of a luminous flame is what's a candle, what, uh, candle, uh, candle flame, all right? A candle flame is a luminous flame, candle flame. When you light your candle, the flame that you see is a luminous flame, all right? Another example of a non-luminous flame is what is hydrogen flame. Okay, so this is this is the book one you should know from your head. So a simple book one you put on your head. Okay, example of flame. Just imagine it because well, we do not have I don't have a candle here and I have that lit 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 it for you to see. But at all I don't have hydrogen flame here either. So but just imagine it in your head when you light a candle. How does the flame look like? Okay, now then this hydrogen flame I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to imagine it. Some of you that are used to cooking, 
in your house. When say when 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 your mama say go and go light gas, okay, you see that some of you we we un- put open or uh, put on the gas, you release the you open the air, air hole and then you see that what uh, a lot of smoke comes out from what from the one you have lit. Your mom dad will not gonna say no 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 reduce it now to blue flame that blue one, okay. So that blue flame that you reduce it to that is used for cooking, like our parents they are used to saying what well, that are uh, no no say that one go go black my pot, eh? reduce it to that blue one that blue one I know the black pot, okay. So that one that doesn't what make what you under your pot to be black is the what non luminous flame, all right. Why that one that we want to light it. It will just bring out smoke before you know the back of a pot and the side of a pot will be getting all dark. That one is what is the luminous was flame. All right, please hope you are getting the picture. All right, so that's what the luminous and the non luminous what flame. All right, now I'm going to see some more some differences between what this luminous and non luminous what flame. All right, so I'll go over there again. We say what uh, a flame is what the region where gases combine to produce heat. And light, all right. And I said there are two types of flame: the luminous flame and the non-luminous flame. All right. Now, a luminous flame is observed. Okay, a luminous flame, a luminous flame is observed when there is no sufficient oxygen. There is no sufficient oxygen. For complete combustion. All right. So, a luminous flame is observed when there is no sufficient oxygen for complete combustion. That means that what a luminous flame, all right, it's what it's the flame that the flame that is produced when there's no what enough oxygen, when there's no what sufficient what, oxygen to what to combust what that what the mass of what gas. All right. So we say what a luminous flame is observed when there is no what sufficient oxygen for complete combustion. Combustion means what burning for burning to what for complete what burning. That's when we see what a luminous flame. Why why what a non-luminous flame is a flame that is observed when there is what sufficient oxygen okay when there's what sufficient oxygen for what for complete what combustion that's how you see what that blue flame that's how you see what that pale blue what flame oh okay so that's a different that's one difference between what a luminous flame and a non-luminous flame likewise a luminous flame appears bright yellow a luminous flame flame appears bright yellow all right why a non a non luminous flame appears blue sometimes we say what pale blue all right so a luminous flame appears bright and yellow bright because we bright yellow yeah bright yellow you see imagine that what a uh, candle flame okay or maybe that gas that you put on that what that brings that smoke okay so that that luminous flame appears for bright yellow, all right? Why what the non-luminous flame appears for blue? Or what sometimes we say appears for pale or blue, all right? So we have said that a luminous flame is observed when there is no sufficient oxygen for complete combustion, all right? Why a non-luminous flame is observed when there is sufficient oxygen for complete combustion? Then we say what a luminous flame appears for bright yellow, why a non-luminous flame appears for pale blue. Now, a luminous flame, what do you observe again? You bring us to a smoke, okay? Or soot. Okay, a luminous flame. A luminous flame produces what? Soot or smoke. While a non luminous flame does not. Okay, so a luminous flame produces what soot or smoke. You know what soot is, right? So that carbon black, like most of you have that, most of you are Gen Z now, so you have not used a lamp before. Okay, but if you have used lamp before, all right, sometimes if you try to release the head of the lamp, pa, 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 you see some black particles, smooth ones that come out from what from the top of the lamp. All right, this one that is what they call the soot. It's called soot. All right, so a luminous flame produces soot. Or what smoke, while a non-luminous flame does not what produce what soot. All right, so that is one difference also between what a luminous and a non-luminous what flame. Okay, now a, a luminous flame also, 
luminous flame, a luminous flame is not very, very hot. It's not as hot as a non-luminous flame. So a non-luminous flame is very, very hot. Okay, so we say what? A luminous flame is fairly hot while a non-luminous flame, okay, is very hot, okay? Of course, a, a, a luminous flame is fairly hot while a non-luminous flame is very hot. Some of you usually misconstrue the fact that, ah, I don't know where the light where we pass, now in this hot pass, no, okay? So that that one, that, that one that my mommy say reduces to, that one burns very hotter than what, than that bright yellow one that you see, okay? So that's why I say that a luminous flame is fairly hot, while a non-luminous flame is what? Is very, very, very hot. Okay, now a luminous flame also is what? It's long. You, you see, you see the you see the way it comes up. Okay, it's very, very long. It spreads and it's very, very long. Okay, so say a no a luminous flame is what long and wavy. A luminous flame is long and wavy. Let us take uh, let us come up. A luminous flame is long and wavy. By what a non-luminous flame is what is short and steady. So we say what a luminous flame is long and wavy while a non-luminous flame is short and steady. All right, so a luminous flame is what is long and wavy while a non-luminous flame is what is short and steady. Now, also to end this class, it is very likely, very important to what to know that what that a luminous flame has four regions while a non-luminous flame has three regions or zones. We call them zones or regions, okay? So, a luminous flame, luminous flame has what? Four regions or zones, okay? So, a luminous flame has what? Four regions or zones, okay? And why was a non-luminous flame, non-luminous has what? Three regions, or zone. Please take note of that. There are what four regions in the world luminous flame, while there are what three regions in the world non-luminous flame. Let us see the four regions in the world in the luminous what flame. Okay, so we have what the outermost region. We have the outermost region, which is pale blue. Okay, we have what the one outermost region. This outermost region is what is pale blue. Okay, then we have the, the luminous zone. All right, so we have what the outer region, which is what pale blue. We have what the luminous was zone, which is bright yellow. This one is bright yellow. All right, then of course we now have what the innermost, the innermost zone. Number three, the innermost. This one is called the region of unborn gas. Okay. The region of unburnt, unburnt gas, All right? Unburnt, U N B U R O N T. Okay, I cannot go to spare rubbish. It's region of what? Unburnt what gas? Unburnt region of unburnt gas. All right. So we have got the outermost region, pale blue, luminous zone, which is bright yellow. The innermost zone, which is the region of unborn gas, they will now have an a, a layer that adjacent to the barrel top. Okay, number four adjacent to the barrel top all right so we have what the layer that's what adjacent to the barrel top okay that one is what is blue all right so those are the four regions that what we have in the what in a luminous what in a luminous what uh, uh flame all right we have what the outermost region which is pale blue the luminous zone which is bright yellow we have the innermost zone which is the region of unborn gas then we have what the adjust the, the part that's what adjacent to the world to the barrel top which is what blue in color all right so these are the four regions in the world in a luminous what flame then in a non-luminous flame of course we now have what the outermost region which is pale blue zone let us see for luminous now luminous flame luminous all right this one is taking this one okay so we have what the outermost outermost region 
This one is what? It's pale blue. Called what? The pale blue zone. Then we have number two. We have the what? The middle region, which is what? Green blue. Then we now have the region of unburnt gas. Unburnt what? Gases. Which is what? The innermost part. All right, so these are what the three zones in the what in the luminous flame. All right, for for a non for sorry for a non luminous flame, non for a non luminous flame. All right, so we have three regions. Why for luminous we have four regions. Okay, for non luminous we have what the outermost region which is pale blue zone. We have the middle region which is what green blue. Then we have the unburnt what gas which is what the innermost what part or the innermost part which is the region of the unburnt what gases. Okay, so that is all we need to talk about what flames. All right. Pretty easy and what and interesting. It's relatable, all right. It's something that is relatable to us, something we see every day. So we say a flame is what is a region where what gases what combine to produce what heat and light. Where gases were combined to produce heat and light. All right. So now let us go to the O2 school jump up and quickly take that question. All right, and then we'll be done with this cloud. Do not want to be spending too much time. Now, this is a 2022 question number 20, which we we're looking at before. They say a luminous flame, luminous, this side one. The one with the bright yellow, okay? The one that is bright yellow, not that one. Not this one that is what? That is short and steady, that is blue, okay? That is just blue, but that's what a very blue color, all right? So now, they say what? Well, the luminous flame now, A, sometimes produces smoke. Does it? Yes, a luminous flame produces smoke. We said what? One of the properties is that what? It produces what? Soot or smoke, okay? Why a non-luminous does not produce smoke? Okay, so then they say A, produces smoke b is very hot all right did you say that a luminous uh, uh, flame is very hot no you say it is fairly hot we did say that it is what fairly fairly hot fairly fairly hot okay why what a luminous uh, non-luminous flame is what is very is very what hot okay so let us continue the third option say is sh is short and cone shaped Okay, that is we for what for non-luminous. Non-luminous, so we say it is short and steady. Short and steady. Okay, it has a what a cone shape also. Please add that word to the characteristic. It is short and cone shaped. Okay, why what? Uh, this one is what for luminous. It's what long and what and wavy. Long and wavy. Then D makes a noise. All right, this one non-luminous makes a noise. Okay. Well, this one does not make noise. This one, this a uh, uh, luminous flame. Does that add it to the character? That's why sometimes you need to work state at the end of the class because many things that are said that are forgotten during the class that are said during when we start sorting out questions. Okay, so now uh, what is that character? We just said us now is what makes a noise. Okay, this non-luminous makes a noise. It produces noise. Okay, while the luminous does not produce noise. So the correct answer there will be what A produces what sometimes produces what smoke. It produces what smoke. That would be the correct answer because what non-luminous does not produce smoke. All right. So please, there are thousands of other questions on this application. Download the app right now. Activate and start practicing your way to success. See you at the top.